Welcome back, boys and girls. Today we're going to read a story about a snail named Jumpy Jack, who was afraid of monsters, and about his friend, Googly. Here he is. I'm nervous, said Jumpy Jack to his best friend, Googly. There could be a monster nearby, and I'm scared of monsters. Don't be ridiculous, said Googly. There might be a monster behind that tree, said Jumpy Jack. Now, now, said Googly. You're very silly to worry. Perhaps I am, said Jumpy Jack, but I would be grateful if you would check just to be sure. No monsters here, said Googly, or here. Phew, said Jumpy Jack. Uh-oh, said Jumpy Jack. There might be a monster in the tool shed. It might have sharp teeth and horrible scary hair. I don't know where you get your ideas said Googly. Nonetheless, said Jumpy Jack, I would appreciate it if you would check, to be absolutely certain. No monsters here, said Googly. Phew, said Jumpy Jack. Oh my, said Jumpy Jack, there might be a monster in that paddling pool. It might pop up all of a sudden and smile a dreadful smile or make bug eyes at me. Dear, oh dear, said Googly, what an imagination you have. All the same, said Jumpy Jack, I would feel better if you would check, just to be safe. No monsters here, said Googly, or here. Phew, said Jumpy Jack. What if there is a monster behind the door, said Jumpy Jack. What if there's a monster with two fingers on each hand who stares at me through the letterbox and sticks out its awful tongue? Oh, Jumpy Jack, said Googly, you must realize that will never happen. Of course not, said Jumpy Jack, but I would feel a great deal better if you would check just in case. No monsters here, said Googly, or here. Phew, said Jumpy Jack. What if there is a monster under the table, said Jumpy Jack. What if there's a monster with long thin feet that jumps out from under the table and frightens me so, so much I nearly faint? Ho, ho, ho said Googly. Now you really have gone too far. Maybe so, said Jumpy Jack. But if you could check, I would be extremely grateful. No monsters here, said Googly, or here. Phew, said Jumpy Jack. What if there is a monster under the bed, said Jumpy Jack. It might be wearing terrible short trousers and a bowler hat and wait until I'm almost asleep, then leap out with an alarming tooth-grinding noise and give me the most dreadful fright so I have to climb out the window and run away like the wind. Jumpy Jack said googly, this is simply too far-fetched. No doubt, said Jumpy Jack. Still, if you would only check, I'm sure I would sleep better. No monsters here. Or here. Phew, said Jumpy Jack. Let's go to sleep. Jumpy Jack, whispered Googly. I can't sleep. Why not? asked Jumpy Jack. 
I thought I heard a sock under the bed, and I'm extremely frightened of socks. Boo! said the sock. <laughs> the end. Boys and girls, was there a monster in the story? What makes this story funny? Is it the illustrations? Or is it maybe that one of the characters is not who he appears to be? Think about it. Bye.